like a mortal man. <laughs> And put him in control. <laughs> <laughs> That's enough. Teach me another one. Uh, what about this one? Welcome back to Anderton's TV. Uh, the Hello. wonderful Jamie Slays is with us today. Hello. That was great. Our resident <laughs> uh, 80s metal uh, expert. So, tell me about uh, the man, the mystery, uh, Dave Mustaine. So, Dave is in a band called Megadeth. Right. I'm sure you know that bit. I do. He wasn't always in Megadeth no. though, was he? <laughs> He, he likes to remind people that he was once in, <laughs> once in Metallica. Um, I've never heard him say that. Uh, and actually, a lot was of he the, the best guitarist Metallica ever had? According to him, absolutely. <laughs> but I guess if he didn't leave Metallica, we wouldn't have Megadeth. So. This is true. Two this is true. And I should say as well. I mean, look, as as you guys know, it, it's uh, um, the whole Metallica, Megadeth, the whole thing's kind of not really my number one thing. But I've got to say, uh, when we met Kiko Lorero earlier this year, which is um, Megadeth's kind of current uh, lead guitar player. I, I mean, I, I, I had to, he did change my perception of almost, I think, non-Megadeth fans almost just see a caricature yeah. of, like a, of like a cliche metal band. And then, but actually, Kiko, we, we did off camera talk quite a bit about um, Dave Mustaine's songwriting and approach and uh, it, was, it, was, it was almost like respect, you know, it's like, and, and then he goes, and then he starts playing some of the classics and you realise how many of those songs are part of metal uh, folklore and yeah. just, you know, are every bit as iconic as, you know, any other uh, metal song. Yeah, so, uh, obviously for the last, what, three or four years maybe not he's been working with the guys at gibson he's obviously great uh, friends with uh, cesar who's you know one of the top dogs at, at, uh, at gibson yeah. and we've seen gibson acoustics and v's and all kinds of stuff like that but now we're seeing some yeah. epiphone stuff and so these are great they're very cool aren't they i really like this one so jamie you have got the um dave mustaine custom Yes, the. I do. Do you want to just give us the quick <clears throat> specs on that? Yeah, so it's got his own Thrash Master pickup, signatures from Seymour Duncan. Nice. Uh, it's a string through uh, body, different to your one. Uh, it's got a sparkle black finish, which I think it only comes in one finish. And it's a mahogany wood body. Um, I think it's a neck through, if I can tell from here. Be like, yeah, like a design where well, it's like a set neck, isn't yeah. it? But made to look like it's. And all the um, finish covers up here, which is quite nice. Mm. Um, but yeah, it's quite light. It's got a nice Ebony binding. fretboard. Ebony fretboard. 24 frets, which is cool. 24 frets on, on, on but still a relatively, one. like yeah. a, a 24 and it three quarter inch scale small. length. I've got some small scale guitars and they feel quite little. Have it's, you got, I've got like a satin finish on the back no, of the neck. Mine's yours, gloss, so yours is gloss, right? Okay, which I prefer, fine. to be fair. So it's Regular Grover tuners by yeah, the looks of things. Not locking tuners. Dave's little silhouette on the back. Oh, that's Dave, is it? I always yeah. thought that was Barbie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Dave, I think Dean did it as a thing and then it kind of carried over to... Um, cool. Uh, both these guitars, by the way, come with a beautiful case, which I will just show you right now. It's enormous, but of course it has to be, doesn't it, to fit a V-shaped guitar in. So look at that. Um, oh, it's got him on yeah, it Yeah, it's well. got him on it as well, so you know what guitar goes in there. Okay. So I've got the Prophecy version of the Dave Mustaine V. So a couple of differences to the, the custom version. The, the basic, it's still a mahogany body. Um, I have got, by the looks of things, a slightly, oh, I've got a substantially different neck carve here. My heel joint is recessed, whereas yours is more of a block. Um, got a flame veneer on top, which is called ebony board. Uh, I've now got locking tuners. Um, and a 
sort of Tone Pro style, um, or Tunematic, sorry, style bridge and tail piece here. Uh, but I guess the biggest difference to the Tone is gonna be that we've got the Fishman Fluent set here uh, with a custom designed uh, voicing for Dave Mustaine. Uh, if you're familiar with Fluent, you'll know that you get all this kind of stuff here. So we've got a mixture of coil taps and voices that are accessible. Um, also comes with the case pricing wise oh and, and this is this is a satin finish so the back of the neck is satin and the whole the whole guitar is satin um that one there is going to set you back about 1400 this one's going to set you back about 1600 because similarly priced um but a little bit dearer for the prophecy would you like to maybe just give us a couple of chugs um across the sort of are you got any push pulls on yours or are they no all, i don't think so it's all just maximum all, humbucker all yeah. the time okay so just give us like you know a bit of bit of neck bit of bit of middle and a bit of bridge <laughs> I sort of feel yeah. like nobody needs to hear uh, Eric Clapton riffs on a Dave Mustaine V. <laughs> definitely hear a difference in the fish uh, yeah you know one. what it's funny isn't it call me old-fashioned and everything like that but i just i just like a set of yeah. regular passive seymour duncans in them like that yeah. I, look i, think I know great. tons and tons of guitar players have adopted the whole fishman thing so i'm sure that's cool too yeah. um was there a they, they weigh about the same is there a do you have a preference in terms of the feel of either um, one or? i prefer that one because i'm not a huge fan of um the kind of satin finish, yeah. like the glossy slip slide. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I get kind of stuck with sweaty hands. And stuff, Isn't that but... interesting? Because I would typically say the opposite. Yeah. You know, I like the satin yeah, yeah. finish because it feels a bit more slinky to me. But that's the yeah, beauty I think of when you're guitars. moving around, like yeah. power chords. Like with that kind of moving in one position, I think it'd be easier. But if I'm doing yeah. metallica stuff and they don't mega enough stuff, you're kind of all over the place. I really, I really like the the, the, finish the black is, metallic yeah, finish. It's got I a. Um, I like this on most guitars to be honest with you just that sense of it just has a little bit of extra something under the lights really cool with the um triple ply binding around the edge gives it that kind of les paul custom kind of vibe yeah. uh, but that looks smart too i love the know. headstock though because it's like the old school kind of banana headstock that the explorers have <laughs> um, but i love it on the v it looks really nice anyway there you are thank you for coming in again mr jamie it, it's yeah. good to see you uh links below to these um I don't know if they're limited edition or not, actually. You have to dive on over to our website and see, but a lot of these kind of artist models often are. But yes, Dave Mustaine of Megadeth, new Epiphone Vs. They're cool. Check them out below. See you next time. Bye, everyone.